there, viewers! How much sugar do you think you're eating on a daily basis? The average American adult is consuming 77 grams of sugar each day. You know how many grams you're supposed to have? under 36. This amount of sugar every day can lead to heart disease and diabetes. Pretty scary, huh? Luckily for you, there are signs. Let's talk about ways you know you're eating too much sugar. Is your vision all blurry? Are you always feeling thirsty? Wait a second, have you gained a massive amount of weight? We're talking all that and more. One of the first signs is that you're gaining weight. Other symptoms we often don't know about until we go to a doctor. For weight gain, all you need to do is look in the mirror to realize something's wrong. Having things like soda, chips, cookies, chocolate, and french fries will load you with sugar, especially if you're consuming them on the regular. I mean, the average can of Coca-Cola is 27 grams alone. If your food is loaded with sugar and lacking protein, your body will have trouble controlling your hunger. Plus, there's also hormones to deal with. Sugar messes with the hormones that control your appetite. Because your appetite is never suppressed, you're going to be eating a lot more than you would with healthier foods that keep you full. You're starting to get mood swings. If you're noticing this sign, other people definitely will. Fluctuations in high sugar count will cause your mood to change, as well as worsen any mental health issues you may have. When I say mood changes, I mean you can go from that fun-loving person you usually are to irritable and snappy. You'll find yourself getting angry at the smallest little things. If your sugar count has been high and suddenly drops below 7 mg per deciliter, this is usually when your mood will experience a shift. This is because your body has grown used to high sugar and isn't taking the sudden change kindly. The real name for this condition is hypoglycemia. This is when your blood sugar drops way too low, bringing on several different symptoms, including sudden irritability. If your mood swings get too intense, you may start alienating yourself from people in your life. This may cause you even more depression. As a result, you'll only start eating more. Your skin will begin to suffer. This is another one you'll probably notice when you look in the mirror. High sugar consumption leads to a lot of skin problems. And I'm not just talking about acne. Too much sugar will affect the skin all over your body. I'm talking about your toes, feet, legs, fingers, and hands. Because there's so much sugar in your blood, blisters will begin to develop on your skin. If the blisters are not going away and you're noticing them in large amounts, make sure you talk to your doctor ASAP. High sugar will cause your immune system to weaken. If all you drink is soda, don't be surprised if you start getting sick more. Too much sugar in your blood can mess with your immune system. This leaves you without the proper defense when you run into germs and bacteria. A person with a weak immune system has a greater risk of developing a colder flu. It will also leave you vulnerable to a lot of the viruses that are out there. One of the reasons COVID-19 spread so easily was because so many people's immune systems were weakened by poor diets and lifestyle choices. Sugar will make you sleepy. To be honest, that's just saying it politely. High amounts of sugar in your blood will cause extreme fatigue. You'll go through the day feeling like you're about to drop. Diets that are high in sugar will lead to high blood sugar and insulin levels. This drains you of your energy and makes you feel tired. People who eat processed foods on the regular are at a greater risk of extreme fatigue. Not only are you getting too much sugar, you're also lacking so many of the nutrients your body needs to function properly. Your teeth are hurting. Since we were kids, adults have been telling us too much candy will make our teeth rot. Well, how does it feel knowing they were right? It's not just candy that does this though, it's anything with a high amount of sugar. We all have bacteria in our mouth. When there's too much sugar in our saliva, our teeth have less protection from this bacteria. This allows it to flourish, causing cavities galore, along with gingivitis, gum disease, tooth decay, and bad breath. Let's just say you'll be in for quite a ride at the dentist the next time you sit in their chair. Pain in your hands and feet. Feeling discomfort in your limbs? This is from all the sugar you're having. High sugar intake will start to block the veins that transport blood through your body. When the veins that supply your hands and feet get damaged, you'll start feeling really annoying pains. If you find that these pains won't go away, talk to your doctor quickly. If you go too long without treatment, your hands and feet can develop ulcers. Once these ulcers form, they may never go away. There's also something else we need to talk about. Sugar can increase your risk of infection. Remember a minute ago when I said that sugar will weaken your immune system? And remember how it leaves you vulnerable to things like cold and flu? Well, there's something else I forgot to mention. The more sugar you have, the less defense your immune system has against infection. 
The skin may even develop fungi in moist regions of the body. Don't be surprised if you see it developing around your chest, under your tongue, or between your fingers. People with high sugar diets are at a much higher risk of urinary tract infections. This is because of all the bacteria that's entered your urinary tract. Too much sugar can also lead to yeast infections. People with diabetes are especially prone to these kinds of conditions. If you've been feeling pain and noticing swelling and inflammation, your best bet is to talk to a professional. Your vision is blurry. Are you used to having 20-20 vision? Well, say goodbye to that. When you're on a diet of ultra-processed food, your eyes are one of the many things that will be affected. The tissues in your eyes will become overwhelmed with fluid. From here, they lose the ability to focus. This leaves images blurry. Bad vision is a massive red flag, so if you're experiencing it, book an appointment with an eye doctor as soon as you can. If your vision goes without treatment, it will only get worse, eventually ending in blindness. You're going to pee a lot. This is one of the more alarming signs of high sugar. Are your trips to the bathroom doubling? Do you find yourself constantly asking your boss for a bathroom break? High sugar will make you urinate more often. When the blood sugar is high, more urine is pushed out of your body. You'll pee so much that eventually you're going to feel dehydrated. The constant dehydration will have you drinking more fluids, only causing you to urinate some more. It's not only your drinking water that will be pushed out. During something called the osmosis process, your blood sugar will drain fluid out of the tissue's cells. This will contribute to your extreme dehydration. Frequent urination is one of the biggest signs of diabetes. Too much sugar will weaken your kidneys, causing excess glucose to drain out through the urine. So if your bathroom visits have doubled lately, you might want to talk to a doctor and figure out what's going on. You're getting constant headaches. Have you ever eaten a massive meal and gotten a headache shortly after? An overload of sugar will make you feel like your head is pounding. This is because sugar has a direct effect on your brain. This is part of something known as a sugar hangover. Eating a fatty, sugary meal in just a small amount of time will cause your blood glucose levels to change quickly. Since your brain and nervous system can't keep up, you'll experience a really intense headache. Mind you, this headache should only last for a little bit. But if you find that you're always getting them after a sugar-filled lunch, it might be time to cut back a little, especially if the headache is accompanied by the next entry. You're feeling dizzy and lightheaded. This is another one of the scarier signs of excess sugar. Have you ever gotten up and felt like you're about to tip over? Have you felt wobbly after standing for a certain amount of time? If you're feeling dizzy throughout the day, it's often a wake-up call that your diet needs a change. Sometimes it may be a little too late. Dizziness can be a sign of diabetes. There's also something known as non-diabetic hypoglycemia. This is when your blood sugar drops after eating a large meal. If diabetes runs in your family, don't ignore this dizziness. It could be a sign that your food is releasing way too much insulin. It's so important to make sure your diet is healthy. I mean, you can always treat yourself, but don't go overboard. Care to learn more about maintaining healthy eating habits? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more diet-related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out the 12 diet mistakes to avoid when you're trying to lose weight. You should also try our video on 20 low-carb foods you need to start eating. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about the relationship between diet and overall health. Are you cutting back on the sugar after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.